everyone, Mark again, and today we're going to be looking at uh, the Glint node. So we're continuing our venture into the special glow effects available by default in Nuke. So we are going to pull out the volume raise uh, footage because I want to keep my... Out well, actually, we're just going to take the plane in, our, in this case. So here we have the plane, but let's say you're doing a, an ad for the company that does the engine on this pl this plane, and they want this little glint of light right here on these pixels. <laughs> so you create a glint node, which is in the draw draw tab, and glint. Okay. So if we look at the glint node, you kind of see it here. It's actually uh, propagating in the vertical axis. So if I increase the length of this, same problem, you, you kind of see it's uh, doing steps. So you, you need to do, um, you know, 12 steps or something. So that will give you a proper glint. And then uh, the length of it. So you can see only certain values that are higher than 0.5 in your shot or actually being stretched. If I lower this, we're going to get glints everywhere. This is amazing. So let's start from the top. So this will affect all the channels in, uh, below. In our case, we just need the RGB. Um, so you see now we have two rays. So basically it's from that center point, it's going up and down, but you can have much more fun with three rays. Oh my God, four rays, five rays, six, seven. And as you can imagine, you can have more. But every time you you add stuff, it gets a little bit heavier. So now I have a plane with rotors made from glints. So here we have the aspect ratio. So let's say you have a lens, um, anamorphic, anamorphic lens, you're going to get like a 0.5. So it's going to stretch the values of your glint. I'm actually going to lower this a little bit so it goes faster. Um, so you can have effect only, so you can see that it's affecting um, only the um, certain areas. We're going to increase the um, the values to one, so we can get only the glints on the engine a little bit less. Six point six point five. Okay, so 0.6 is a good point uh, way to start. And the reason we're getting the sky is that the values up there are a little bit higher. So what I want to do is create, especially if I just want the, um, the, um, the glints on the engine. So this is a way to just have these, you know, working on. I'm going to reduce the length. These are, you know, heavy nodes, but it's sometimes fun to have just, you know, that extra lens effect that might be uh, present in your actual live footage. So that's always a good, um, good way. Again, I'm going to plus this on the plane. So now you have beautiful glints highlighting the beautiful engine. Uh, here you have odd ray length. So there's a way to actually increase or have certain ones being longer than, than the next. You have rotation. So you can actually rotate these to add that extra shimmer on the metal engine. And again, you can have um, you know special colors being built from your in all the way to your out.
you know, this combined with a glow could, you know, possibly change the life of many, many people out there. So yeah, so there you have it. That's a way to actually have special glints going in. But usually it's a more, um, more subtle, um, more subtle thing. Like usually it's just, you know, to mimic the sun, uh, the sunbeams on, sorry, one, two, three, a bit less. Um, so you can get a nice sun into there. As you can see, it's doing another uh, like issues on it. So you can increase the step size and huh, for whatever reason, it's not working. That's odd. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. You can create like, a, you know how your phone, when it gets into a high spot value, sometimes it does weird uh, highlights. Well, hey, that might be a way to actually use that. Hmm. So yeah, those are basically the steps you need to, to use to create uh, glints. So thank you for watching and be on the lookout for another special effect tutorial.